Not responsible for accidents. Nope. The Volkswagens, I mean, restoring Volkswagens is a big accident. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. We've taken a bit of a hiatus, uh, mostly me, because this is the Vangabonders channel. But as of his advice, due to this repair here, which I didn't want to fabricate, we're going to go to a junkyard, it's nearby, hopefully cut out the piece we need, bring it back, clean it up, weld it in, and have some fun on like this it. Saturday. Super secret junkyard. All right, so we're going to grab this bad boy. Uh, if you grab that yellow extension cable, yep. that little thin one, we're also going to get, not that PPE, that's a little bit too much. Maybe get a couple cutoff wheels and a, a grinder. Where's the grinder at? Oh, there's a the grinder. Oh, cut off wheel on it already. Take this thing. Ooh, pull. What? Yank the cable. Oh, pull. Mm, there we go. <laughs> I thought you were saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get a blade for the sawzall. Do you need this? Uh, yeah, let's take that for sure. And we're gonna load that up. Okay. I just toss that in there. Can't forget the coffee. Good toss, clean. We're all packed up, caffeinated, and uh, we're gonna hit the road. Do you have the address? Uh, no, it's a secret. Okay, so he's gonna tell me how to get there, but I have to have my memory erased uh, so that I don't remember how to get there and take more buzz parts. So it's uh, mostly a VW graveyard? Uh, VW graveyard. He's got, I think it's a 50 something Ford he's working on. Did he oh. find this place through the Samba? No, this is just driving around back roads. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just go that way. All right, got, got it. I could go south. I could do that. So uh, I think we're pulling up here. Can't show you guys the exact details of what intersection we're at, but hopefully there is going to be the bus that we need. Look, there's a bus. Oh, there's another bus. Oh, I think. Oh, this is gonna be a good day. I think so. Bro, oh, look at those in the back. Yeah, those are the those are the good ones. Those are the yeah the ones that wouldn't feel bad cutting up. All right, let's go inter introduce ourselves. All right, Alvin. Chris has a YouTube channel where he's restoring his bus. He's yeah. cutting out. Do you mind being on camera a little bit? Do you care if we yeah. record? Yeah. Okay. I don't care what we go around take some videos of your buses and stuff. Yeah. It's like a national treasure out here. Yeah. This is this is Alvin <laughs> Chipmunk. <laughs> Huh. You got to lift with your back. Yeah, other kids are on the floor. I'm, that's good. Pretty sure he could have done that himself. I he just he wanted to make you feel useful. Well, you know, I had to use the gloves. <laughs> yeah. I'd rock lift. Yep. Don't have no push drop. Ah, okay. But it had trouble getting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd go over more than that. I love I love all the tools. Yeah. Organized, actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really is. I've told Chris about this like several times, and we just never got down here. He's got a piece on the rear fender that he's trying to fabricate, and it's like curved, and it's got a, a like ridge. ridge in it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, well, why don't we just go down to Alvin's and see if there's a piece that we could cut out of a thing? The well, seats are pretty nice. Look, it's got seat belts. Oh wow. Mm, it smells like a bus. Looks like a bus. It's got like a DIY sunroof. Whoa. Ain't never seen that before. That is crazy. It's got the wide five in the back. Got wide five in the back and then you're regular in the front. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a full size bed. That's nice. And it matches my interior. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Interesting, very interesting. I like this bus. A little rusty, but aren't they all? What happened there? Front end swap. Oh my goodness. Look at that whole chunk missing there. Jeez. And the eight pillars holding on by a thread down there. I love I love this though. The rhubar is dope. Wonder how it's mounted. It's literally just a bent pipe welded to the frame. I love that. That is a nice touch. Yeah. Not responsible for accidents. Nope. The Volkswagens, I mean, restoring Volkswagens is a big accident. Yeah. <laughs> so Alvin's not going to be responsible for anything that happens. Look at that. That's a cool little bus, though. Look at this one over here. This one's already been cannibalized. Nothing comes off the green one. Wonder how it is on the inside here. Hmm. Feels pretty good. Might cut from this one. It's already been cut. Tyler's out there exploring the wonders. What do you think? Dude, well, there's one that's already been cut up. Okay. The part of the section we need might work. Okay. 
I mean, there's just so much stuff. I know, it's overwhelming. Like there's there's a green one. Like there's one over here. That too. one's been cannibalized too. Let's try to get around here without getting impaled. Yeah, this one's super rusted in the spot that we need. That is not the candidate. It is a graveyard. Yeah, he said nothing gets cut off the green one. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. Is this the green one? I think so, yeah. It's automatic. It's in pretty good shape. Yeah. That's what mine looked like. Did it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Big okay. hole. Lots of holes, no more. Mm, solid bus door sound. I'm thinking I might cut from this one because it feels pretty solid in there, mm -hmm. like in that corner where I need it. Yep. But the back end of it, which I also wanted, has already been cut out. What you got to look for is if it doesn't have rust along this line here, Okay. that means it didn't rust through to the other side like mine did. Okay. Is that AC? I think so. Never like seen that before. Six. Yo, look at the roof on that one. Look how it rusted out. I know. That is insane. It's like about to peel off. Here's a late bay. Looks a little rough there, but you get a little feel on the inside, see what we're working with. I don't know if I can get you guys a shot in there. You can see that's not too rusty in there. Got some surface rust, but no holes that I can see. Why well, you said you're gonna get the floor from this one? Well, I I looked at it. Oh, to get sections? Yeah, maybe? well, to get that. Oh, I see. Right. And then there's this one, which is an early base, so that won't help. So many pieces. So many pieces. Does this count as part hunting? All right, so let's get our mobile power station, our Sawzall and a couple blades mobile power station thank you pecron about to give it a good old test run here Ugh. got a couple blades that are shot but they might work i don't know you might check before we cut can't be too expensive right i don't know i don't know maybe say, priceless cut first ask later <laughs> i like it adventure i think the battery's dead yeah it's definitely a little dead here is the subject Oh. All right. Walk us through what uh, what you need here. Well, basically the inside of this. Okay. Is the outside's good. We'll put on our safety glasses. Power station here. Did you say sponsored by? Uh... Sponsored by Pecron. Let's see how much it could handle. Run something like this off of it. Got to make sure I cut high enough without getting tetanus. A big shout out to Pecrom for sending us their mobile power station. A link will be in the description down below, and if you use that, you will get a 5% off. So let's go ahead and have Mallory unbox it and see what's inside. Sorry. Um. Oh, it's a box within a box. Fancy schmancy. I don't know what this is, but it looks like a lunchbox. Mmm. Ah. We've got so many, so many cool gadgets in here, or what you would call cool. All right, I'm gonna break the, oh, never mind. They thought of that for me already. That's not squat, but. Wow, this, this is what I call a gadget. It's, I mean, does that not look like just an absolute monster? We're just gonna start putting things in holes. That doesn't go there. Oh, but it looks like it can go there. <laughs> oh, I see now, I'm the idiot. All right, so this goes here. It's charging up. What does this thing do exactly? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Pecron E600 LFP is a 1200 watt portable power station that you can use for anything from keeping yourself entertained on a camping trip with the boys to making waffles on a camping trip with the boys. Oh my God, how are we gonna get this? No. Oh. I got I got it. No, you get it, you I get it. it. No, I got it. No. I got it. Oh. Now I've been using this thing for the past few months as you can see it in the background of this shot here I use it for anything from charging my phone to charging electronics and it has served me quite well This power station could be charged with anything from your car to a house plug to even a solar panel So go ahead and check it out in the link in the description down below and let's go ahead and see how it performs running some power tools Like my cutoff wheel. That's Bondo mm. Mm. 
All right, now we swap tools. We gotta cut the inside of it. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Kick that is back. A little kick back. You got some gloves? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Ow! Thought I brought mine. But... Oh, there we go. Glove delivery service here. It's gonna be interesting. Might just be able to pull the skin off of it and then cut the inside. Right? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's what we need right there. How's it look? Solid. Solid ish. That's what we need right there. Oh, these are tack welded. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Looks like just one tack. Come on. So close. That one tack is holding on for dear life. All right. So this was not even fully charged and it still did what we needed it to do. And there's the, the beautiful Bart we needed. Now to cut it to shape and make it work one way or another, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, easy. Find out how much we owe Alvin. How much you want for it? He was trying to fa- Unfortunately, my wireless mics died here, so I lost audio and you weren't able to witness my impressive haggling skills. But eventually I worked them down to 50 bucks for the piece that I had cut out, and I was quite pleased with that price. So we went ahead, got it loaded up, did a little bit more chatting with Alvin, and then headed home. Alvin was a great dude. Oh, uh, we got what we needed. We're gonna head back, get some food, and then hopefully get to work. The maybes of getting back to work. You maybe, know. maybe. But a lot of a lot of editing to do later too so fun times in the future so i hope you've all had a happy new year's and haven't missed my videos too much finally we are back and there will be consistent videos being uploaded if you want to keep up to date with the progress on this bus make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned as we get the bottom of this bus brand spacking new spacking no rust perfect primed beautiful and painted so make sure to stick around as this bus is going to be on the road this year, I hope. See you on Sunday. And thanks, Pecron, for sponsoring this video. Oh, Johnny, I'm kicking your ass, dude. All <laughs> thanks to the Pecron E6000. <laughs> I couldn't kick John's ass it's if I e tried without this. <laughs>